Well, hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Sorry, this upload is actually coming a little late, but it's been an insanely busy week making edits for the church that I work for. If you watched my last video, if you're coming here for the sequel, I'll put a little card up. You can see disaster on the water. I lost my phone, so I had to go and take care of a lot of things and get some new equipment this week. Let's head out to my garage and I'm gonna show you guys. Hey, welcome to the garage. We finally got it cleaned up enough to actually get the kayak and the trailer in here. I'll show you guys some more angles of that uh, in just a minute. I have this whole shelving area over here on the side that I can put all of my fishing equipment. I don't have that much yet, so it's not full, uh, but I know that that area is mine. I had my rods just kind of propped up against it. Uh, I have them laying on my kayak because I'm supposed to be taking my uncle out this weekend. I borrowed, actually Connor from a previous video, I borrowed his kayak for my uncle to use. You know, I don't have a drill, and so while my uncle is here, he's gonna help me actually install some uh, rod holders up on this wall, so I'll show you guys us doing that as well. But back to the phone thing, man, it was super tragic losing my phone in the water. Definitely learned my lesson, and remember in my last video when I said this about insurance? It turns out I had insurance, which is wild because I never agreed to insurance because I think it's kind of scammy. Yeah, well, I still kind of believe that because they denied my claim and said some crap about uh, my phone not being active on the plan. Like, you know how insurance companies do, but it is what it is. The lady at AT&T in Somerville, South Carolina, her name is Ashley, took care of me, uh, got me some good deals, got my plan worked out. Apparently I was on a weird plan for just being an individual. So I'm saving a ton of money and the phone ultimately is cheaper each month than my previous phone. I just had to pay the balance on my previous phone, which was like 500 bucks. But someone on Facebook said, well, which phone did you get? Or should I say, which iPhone should you get? Because I love iPhones. I know Android has come a long way, but I use a MacBook Pro, and so everything syncs together seamlessly. I've always used an iPhone. I love them. So I went ahead and I got the 11 Pro Max. I'm pretty excited about this phone. This is just the box. This is the actual phone. I've already got it in a little case. Nothing too serious, but I got one more thing that's going to protect it even more on the water. This little black envelope is from Rogue Fishing. Uh, I'm not endorsed by them. I don't have a discount code or anything like that. But uh, I've been seeing this advertised since I started kayaking, so I'm really excited to finally get one. Uh, handwritten note, that's awesome. Cool sticker. If your product's awesome, we'll put it on the Vibe. And lastly, here it is. It's a tether uh, to tether your phone to your life jacket. So let's go ahead and put this thing together. All right, it's made out of the paracord that you can buy like at Walmart. It does stretch like kind of like a bungee, which is really cool. Uh, you have this carabiner that clips to your life jacket. I'll show you in just one second. And then you also have this part that goes around your phone to hold it in place. Okay, it worried me a little bit at first because uh, the little rubber piece is kind of small, but it actually fits really nicely around my phone all the way around. And it doesn't block the camera here, which is important if you're doing any kind of kayak fishing tournament. They're all uh, catch photo release, and so you gotta be able to take that picture. I'm gonna take the carabiner, which also has a little uh, key ring, so you, if you wanted to put it in that way, or put the key ring in your life jacket permanently and then just kind of unclip uh, the carabiner when you want, which is probably what I'm gonna do. <sighs> okay, I usually keep my phone in this pocket, but there's a zipper inside of my left pocket. So I went ahead and put the little key ring on there so that on the actual rogue fishing clip, uh, I can clip the carabiner to that zipper. And now I've got my phone connected to my life jacket, and I guess we should give it the old drop test and see if it works. I'm gonna get Amber to hold the camera for that. Also with it like that, uh, I can still fit everything in that pocket and zip it up. I just gotta get used to my phone being on the opposite side. But, hey, this thing is awesome. I mean, that gives me plenty of, plenty of room to work with, and I've been playing with a bungee a little bit to see if my phone would fall out of it, and I mean, I'm not gonna be doing much more than that on the kayak, but uh, let's uh, let's just see what happens if I were to drop it. All right, we got Amber behind the camera. I had to come inside because it is so hot in there. We've been running the dryer almost all day. If you're wondering about a house tour, we're gonna get to it really soon. Maybe even this weekend, because we've been cleaning for the past two days. 
Ma mainly Amber, not so much me. All right, I've got the, in the left pocket, I've got the key ring attached to that zipper, the carabiner, which is gonna let me remove this if I ever need to, pull my phone out, I've got plenty of room, and let's say I were to drop it, this is the ground, uh, the water wouldn't hurt it as bad, but to make sure that the phone will stay in it, this is a brand new iPhone 11 XS, or iPhone 11 Pro Max, let's just hope it doesn't hit the ground. You ready? All right, so even if it were to hit the water on that, it would be tethered pretty securely to my life jacket as well. And these phones are water resistant, thankfully. So um, honestly, I'm really happy with this product. I can't do a full on the water review because I'm hopefully going fishing tomorrow evening. But uh, just at first glance, the handwritten note, the packaging, the quality of the connections, the fact that this is not gonna let my phone go, uh, rogue fishing, really hooked it up uh, with this phone tether. Once again, I'm not sponsored. I don't have an affiliate link, nothing like that from these guys, but I will leave a link to this exact one. I got it in green. It comes in several different colors. I'll leave a link down in the description box below. Definitely check them out. Don't do what I did and drop your phone in the water and lose all of your pictures. All right, I'm so excited to finally have space and a garage where I can keep the kayak here and not at Jeremy's because um, I can work on it, I can clean it whenever, and take it out whenever really I need to, or want to. I, I've never really wanted to go out by myself. Jeremy's been really busy lately, so I'm gonna have to start taking some solo trips. The Shearwater is still an amazing kayak. One of the biggest problems I had was this middle pod right here was really loose, and when uh, the waves would hit it, it would actually pop up, and these little locking mechanisms were super loose. So I added uh, two washers to the bottom and one washer to the top uh, because it was the screws were actually going down into the plastic locking mechanism, uh, but that fixed it. It's super tight now. It's not coming up at all. It cost me like a dollar twelve for all the washers. No big deal. But one thing that's super annoying is actually the rudder. I tie the barrel knot on both sides to the rudder, just like the Vibe website says. And every time, every single time I go out, one or both of them slip loose and it makes my rudder almost useless. When it works, it's fantastic. And when it doesn't work, which is most of the time, it's awful. I do know that some people have some fixes out there. I just haven't really had the time to dive in and do that. Now that I've got it here with me, um, I can focus on making that happen a little bit more. <laughs> Uh, I'm also not one of those people that's super complainy. Uh, I love the kayak, I think it's amazing. Um, we still have the original like foot braces. Vibe has promised uh, to send out the new ones soon. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to check out Rogue Fishing. They have several products that tether things to your life jacket or to your kayak so that you don't lose them on the water. If you're new here and you enjoyed this video or some of my old videos, don't forget to hit subscribe. We are only two subs away from 350 at the time I filmed this video. Thank y'all so much for the support. It's been so fun making these videos and I can't wait to get out on the water this weekend and get you guys some more fishing action. I will see you guys very, very soon on the next next upload. Peace.